textbooks do not give Palestinian children an education, they give them an indoctrination. When we view this report in combination with other media that these children are exposed to, we see a larger picture that is disturbing. It is disturbing on a human level. It is disturbing to me as a mother. It is disturbing to me as a United States Senator because it basically profoundly poisons the minds of these children. We call it Pollywood, you know. Sometimes you see movies and you know scenarios that they are just fake them, like the shark. They are spreading lies, a lot of lies. And the system is, if you hear the lie a few times, you believe, wow, I heard it in advance. Yes, yes, that's the truth. So that's the system, very simple. Palestinians love to say that Israel is like the Nazis. Uh, and I'll give you one example right now where you can see the deputy minister of prisoners in the Palestinian Authority comparing Israel to the Nazis. متناسي إسرائيل أننا الآن في القرن الواحد والعشرين أن أوضاع أسرانا الفلسطينيين هي أسوأ من الأشوفتسات النازية التي كان بها معتقلين اليهود وإذا بتعود إلى الصور للأشوفتسات كيف كانوا على أسرة وأتخوت وإلى آخر في الأشوفتسات إحنا الأتخوت ما دخلتش عندنا في السجون إلا في التسعينات يعني تخت الحديد حتى That statement by the Minister of Prisoners uh, Deputy Minister of Prisoners was one of four in the same week where they accused Israel of treating Palestinians uh, like, uh, like the Nazis treated Jews. We've had the Palestinians saying that Israel is spreading AIDS amongst the Palestinian Authority, that we're spreading drugs amongst the Palestinians. Years ago, they had one that Israel was dropping poison candy from helicopters. Hollywood is the propaganda vehicle of the Palestinian cause. The primary objective of Hollywood is the defamation of Israel by damaging its reputation. Hollywood takes the form of falsified and staged posters, photographs, and video footage, which is shown locally and spread through the international media. עכשיו בגלל שמישהו אצלנו מבין ערבית, וגם זה המובן שזה לא סתם מישהו מדבר אליך, אתה ישר מבין אם מקללים אותך, אז קמנו רק כדי לראות מה קורה, הם דחפו אותנו, דחפו, דחפנו אותנו חזרה, ופתאום צצו צלמים ממרפסת, מחלון, לידינו, לא הבנו שזה צלמים עם נגדנו, איתנו, בסוף מסתבר שזה צלמים שהיו שם בכוונה. Only when it bleeds, it leads. Only when there's blood, only then media takes notice. Hollywood uses this facet of news production to frame Israel as the oppressor. Using civilians as shields deters Israelis from defending themselves and also provides blood and body counts for the television cameras. Hollywood is a combination of media created by the Palestinian Authority and terrorist organizations like Hamas. While they do carefully manipulate the international media, their target population is their own civilians. They clearly want the story of civilian casualties out. That is their, uh, what they are heavily pushing to the point where on this tour I was on, they were, they were just making stuff up. They had six ambulances lined up in a row uh, and, and said, okay, you know, they brought reporters there. They said, you can talk to the ambulance drivers. Um, and then one by one, they told the ambulances to turn on their, their sirens and to zoom off. The Western media, uh, sometimes innocently, uh, believes the Palestinian lies. Multi-million dollar campaigns coming out from Gaza it has its effect around the world. There have been many, many stories of, of civilians who have been killed or that have been presented in the international media as Israel's responsibility, and it turned out later on that it wasn't.
Charles' death got a lot of attention after his body was kissed by Egypt's Prime Minister during a tour of a Gaza hospital. Neighbours and family members had told CNN they heard an aircraft before the explosion. But the Israeli military Sunday told CNN it did not carry out any airstrikes at the time of the child's death. The IDF says it stopped attacks because of the visit by Egypt's Prime Minister. Among other possibilities, maybe a misfire of Hamas rocket, which was intended for Israel. CNN's crew in Gaza said it saw two such rockets passing overhead, apparently fired not far from where the boy lived. The very basic message that the Palestinians are interested in peace and they just want the West Bank is adopted by the entire international media. But if you listen to what they say in Arabic, you know that that's not true. I want to show you a uh, video clip that recently appeared on Palestinian TV. And you see a, a moderator teaching young children that the occupation is all of Israel. Tragically, what we find is everything the Palestinians can do is just undermining that peace. Every message that they give in English of reconciliation they're giving opposite hate messages, especially to the youth uh, in Arabic. It is vital to expose Pallywood deceptions. In the social media and communications age, the public relations war is a vital component of Israel's struggle to win the hearts and minds of the international community. When Pallywood succeeds in tarnishing Israel's image, support for Israel is weakened and the Jewish state becomes more diplomatically isolated and more exposed to the ramifications of delegitimization. I know for a fact today, by the way, when you give out, sending out information, media advocacy in our part of the region, giving a balance to what's going on, we're giving hope to both sides of the region. Why is that? Because we're undermining what became acceptable in our part of the region, having rockets being fired towards civilian population, and we're undermining terrorist leaders using their own civilian populations, not only as human shields, but to get any political agenda to get across as well. However, the problem doesn't end with international viewers. 75% of Gaza's citizens are under the age of 25 and lack access to a free and open media. According to outside experts, Israeli children are taught a positive approach towards other cultures, including Palestinian culture, and that Jews were treated with tolerance by Muslim leaders throughout the Middle Ages and the Ottoman Empire. Israeli school textbooks also provide the Palestinian perspective of the events of 1948 and 1967. The potential for, and the pressing need for, media and education reform in support of peace and development is critical. Because we believe the key to peace in the Middle East is educating the next generation uh, to accept Israelis as neighbors. 